Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at um, drawing fundamentals. So we're going to be looking at simplification, angles, relationships, and negative space. These things are essential, the essential building blocks for any kind of painting or any kind of portraiture or landscapes that you do. And it's going to really help build your foundation when it comes to art. It's definitely something that I struggle with, so I thought it would be a good thing to share with you guys. Yeah, so let's get into it. This is one um, that I've already done already in preparation, which kind of gives you an example. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be looking at yeah this image here. And so this one is kind of difficult actually because there is a whole lot going on when it comes to like perspective and anatomy and things. Um, but the first thing that I would look at is like the angle of the space. So where where is your center line? So you can see that our center line, if I was to go through the middle of the face, it's like a tilt. It's not like a side on, it's not a straight on. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's not a straight on like that. It's a tilt. So the first thing I would do is I'd actually just put that tilt in. And you know, if you want to really try and make things accurate you could always do like the same box when it comes to like studying these things uh, but I'm gonna try and work without the box so what I would do just take my brush and I just draw that side on kind of line and then we're going to actually start to think about the overall shape of things. We're not going to try and draw like an eye or a, a bunch of stuff. I want to start looking at... Um, oh boy, <laughs> I drew on the image. Oh no, it's fine. I'll add another image in. That isn't drawn on, but you want to start looking at like overall shapes and so what I would do is I would look at like this big shape here and then maybe that there as well and I would start to try and sketch that out let me put a, a different image well put the image in because otherwise it's going to annoy me can have that as our clean image and then the other one's like our annotated one yeah so I'd start to try and put that shape in thinking about overall shapes is going to really help you so create a new layer move it on top I would just try and sketch in that kind of shape in there okay we're we looking at that shape maybe i put the eye line in first and then i try and draw the shape so let's do a rough eye line let's try and put in that shape now and you want to kind of look at like the angles so you can see that nose, nose is kind of coming something like that. Yeah, there's our nose. And I'm just going to put like a rough kind of shape, kind of like that. I'm trying to think about the overall shape here. And we could also put the hair on top. We could do something like this. I can keep drawing 
like the shape, the rough shape. And you can see like I've got like a rough shape. It's not detailed or anything at all, but it gives me an idea. If I take that rough shape and lower the opacity, I can start drawing on top of that. <laughs> it's only kind of at this point that I would start to draw some things in. So maybe I would draw like where that eyebrow is. Just want to measure like the nose downwards, kind of like that. Draw our nose in, and I'm gonna kind of represent it like this to show that there's an underside. Then you can draw where that eye is. Here we can do that eye as well. Think about it being like an eyeball apart. It's not like different, there are different kind of faces and different shapes, but like these are kind of like proportion guidelines you can follow. So in between both eyes, it's like an eyeball apart. So I just roughly sketch in both eyes, can sketch in like the nostril there, and you know it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate but because we've got like the rough shape we can start to fit these things in. You can look at like the negative space here between like the eye, the top of the eyelid and the eyebrow. So maybe we would make the negative space kind of like that to find um, our eyebrow. So I just put in an eyebrow kind of like that. Same thing. Instead, what I'm going to do for the other eyebrow, I'm just going to measure across in like a straight line because it is just roughly like a an angle kind of like that there you go both our eyebrows you can measure downwards to get where the lips are it's kind of like halfway in between the nose and the mouth is where you're going to find the middle of the lips. You just want to remember like these lips are actually open. This is definitely a harder image um, than the last one I did. Something kind of like that. Do that. You can just create like the negative space and leave the rest open and no shadow there's our lips just gonna slowly measure down to where that chin is and maybe we can do that part of the cheek there as well And so you can see we actually went from like large kind of shapes and then we slowly got down to like the smaller shapes and we use relationships between different things. So even here we could edit some things. The nose is going to be in line with the edge of that iris. So if you measure down can see the edge of the nose is roughly in line with that iris so measure down roughly about there that's where that nose is gonna kind of stop kind of like that something like that 
and then even for like the mouth, the corner of the mouth kind of lines up with the edge of that iris there, so if I just rub this out, find the edge, it's the corner, it's that mouth, like that, and then they're just gonna curve around like that. We want to try and measure things, so imagine like another eyeball apart and a tiny bit further is where we're gonna have like the side of that neck. You can measure across, so if I was to measure across from this ear, you know, what does it intersect with? Okay eyebrow bottom half uh the nose so measure across from the nose measure across from that eyebrow there's our ear placement and so like the first half is actually just first put in your big shapes and then just use measurement to find relationships there you go and then we can just draw in like that hair hair kind of roughly here that's where it starts comes just behind the ear as well But yeah, there's our hair kind of locked in. You can measure up from where that neckline is. Comes in line with the eye, so cut down. And we'll create that same kind of neckline. It's in line with the hand, so that's in line with the hand. Let's do something like that. It's fairly fat. Um, another thing I would actually look at is uh, we could look at this negative space. So negative space is the gap between objects. So let's say this part here, negative space. This part here is going to be negative space and then this part here is also going to be negative space and so negative space is the space between two different objects and you can use that to measure things up too so if we look at where this arm is interlining with you can see kind of starts there just below the mouth is where that's starting so you can measure something like that there's like a guide to get that arm you can see it doesn't go above the hair, so just measure from like the inside of the hair and we'll get the other side of the arm. Is it in line with anything? Okay, it's not in line with anything. Is anything on the same angle? I guess maybe the bottom half of the nose also has the same angle, so could use that. If I was using the box method, then I could just measure, you know, like the negative space in between here, but because I'm not, I used the angle of the nose or the bottom half of the nose to kind of get that arm in. And if 
I measure across, not from my butt arm, okay. So we want to put it a bit higher, this neckline. But we're constantly looking for those relationships and proportions. And you can see like the drawing, it's not perfect. We are actually getting things down. Okay, this ear kind of needs to be higher. There we go. And another thing you can do, you can always just flip the canvas. So, yeah, if I flip the canvas, you can start to see you know like where where am I making mistakes you can see that this nose actually sticks out more than I've given it credit for so I just rub out that bit and redraw that nose and even here this like the space between the ear and here is actually fairly short whereas it's fairly long in my thing so what I would do is I'd rub that out just draw that line in and we definitely need to make that shorter than I have so I'm just gonna put it in kind of like this can see we've got a hand up top you just want to measure what that hands in line with you can see it's in line with the ear and here it's kind of just in line with that part of the chin so say I measured up from here say I measured up from here yeah you know, our hand is gonna fit in between there So our hand's going to be roughly there. So this hand is kind of just like straight. We can do something like that. And then remember when we talked about negative space, we can measure like a rough kind of negative space to try and get this shape. We can do... Kind of like a rough rectangle. And finally we could... Okay, it's kind of in line with where the lip is. Although you can't really see it in the image. So yeah, maybe we put like our t-shirt. Kind of like this. Something like that. you can see no it's not perfect <laughs> Adam's apple part coming down like that but yeah you want to start to try and think about relationships kind of like that and then you know, as you continue to draw and draw, the measurements and the things that you make will become more and more accurate. Uh, yeah, but the only way that you can really improve at something like this is just by practicing it. And so, yeah, I challenge you to look around you, look at the different things that you see. Um, or just go on to Pinterest, you know. Or you could draw someone from real life. Uh, it's up to you. But go on to Pinterest. F 
find an image uh, think about angle of the face think about your eye line nose line mouth line in proportion to each other and in portion in proportion to the size of the skull and then also try and think about like the negative space and try and incorporate that into your drawings yeah and try doing a bunch of different ones and then see how your drawings improve and I, I can guarantee that they'll improve quite a lot yeah uh, so I'm gonna end it yeah I'm gonna end it there this one was definitely a hard one to do <laughs> can still see like different areas of improvement and you probably will see different areas that you could improve uh, but don't fixate too much on one drawing try and move from one drawing to the next to the next because it's it's better if you do multiple rather than getting fixated on one thing and tweaking yeah so hopefully that's helped I'll see you in the next video.